we are going to do a first principles derivative of a rational function. And so get your fraction hats on everybody because this is going to get very fractional in just a minute. Let's find out what f at x plus h is. I know what f at x plus h is. I've just substituted an x plus h everywhere I look at an x. Now I'm going to put this into my difference quotient and take the limit as h goes to zero. On the top of this expression, all I'm really doing is subtracting fractions. So I need to take these expressions to a common denominator. Welcome to this episode of This is the Same as That. Now, you'll notice that Mr. Rogers is undergoing a difficult operation that's basically the same as subtracting fractions. Now, normally what we do is we try and find a common denominator. And so I would multiply 1 half by 3 over 3, and then I would multiply 1 third by 2 over 2, and it becomes the same thing as 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6, which is 1 6. And that's, this is the same as that. When I expand these terms, I'll have a nice common denominator, and then I'm going to take this top fraction that's in the numerator of the overall expression and simplify it. Now I'm ready to simplify my top. I can see I have x minus x, and I have 1 minus 1, and this is going to leave me with a negative h in the top of the top fraction and an h on the bottom. Now this is the same, this is the same thing as dividing fractions, and so I'm going to invert and multiply these two fractions. Now watch carefully as Mr. Rogers performs the dangerous and tricky operation of dividing a fraction by a whole number which is really like dividing a fraction by a fraction like that. Okay, so remember, invert and multiply 1 third times 1 over 4, which is equal to 1 12. H divided by H is just the same thing as negative 1. Now I'm ready to apply my limit here. And so when I set h equal to 0 by applying my limit, I end up with x plus 0 plus 1 times x plus 1, which is just negative 1 over x plus 1 squared. 